Hello everyone, my name is Nyan. I'm a PhD student at K11 and SCK Belgium. I'm working on the durability of geopolymer in contact with aquas environment. And today I'd like to introduce with you my research on the effect of water by the ratio and precursor on the water permeability of alkaline materials. Uh, first, I will start with a brief introduction about the uh, water permeability and its importance in the performance of uh, alkaline materials (AAM). Then, the technique used for determining uh, the properties are indicated. Following that, uh, the results or permeability coefficient of AAM are illustrated as well as the correlation with the structure of examine and creativity materials. And finally, there's some conclusion based on our obtained results. First, uh, as a pores materials, including pores, cracks, and interfacial transition zone, ITZ were similar to the microstructure of OBC, AAM may be attacked by substances when exposed in the working environment and transport body, including diffusivity and water permeability, as microstructures and microscopic properties of materials determine how fast these substances penetrating in the AAM. And here I will focus more on the water permeability of uh, these materials, which determine the penetration under a pressure gradient and this transport will cause degradation of concrete practically. And indeed, um, there are many aggressive substances in the environment harmful to the AAM materials like source carbon dioxide, chloride, and water. Weak cause phenomena such as soil attack, carbonation, corrosion and frost in the structure of our materials. And this phenomenal degradation process of uh, these materials. Therefore, permeability is fundamental parameter for assessing the durability of AAM. And in fact, studies on the water permeability of alkaline materials are report. However, none of the used methods for determining the water permeability is accepted widely. And furthermore, these properties depend much on the variety of factors like precursor, activator, water by the ratio, or um, curing conditions. So all of this make a gap in the study and that assess for transport bodies in general and water permeability in particular of AAM. And based on my knowledge, in contrast to OBC, there's not many reports on the permeability of AAM. While the permeability coefficient of OBC ranging from 10 of minus 14 to 10 of minus 11 meter per second, some researchers indicated that the coefficient values of uh, AAM is stretching in a large range from 10 of minus 13 to 10 of minus 9 meter per second corresponding to water by the ratio and low or high calcium system as NASH or cash gel. So the existing data set of permeability is limited and incomparable due to depending on many factors. And although the data sets of OBC is abundant, it can be not compared to, to that of AAM due to the difference in their structure as crystal in OPC and amorphous structure of AAM. So besides that, as I mentioned above, techniques also consider as its also effect on the permeability of AAM. AAM. So that means Further study on the water permeability of AAM is really essential to deal with the existing problem. 
Uh, concerning the measurement techniques for determining the water permeability, most of existing techniques to measure this property of cement discharge material could be for could be used for AAM because of uh, their similar characteristic with respect to the transport of fluid, and in which the direct method with um, um, constant water head pressure commonly used for OPC can be used for AAM. Here in the direct method called control constant flow is applied foot a pressure gradient is applied until achieving a stable inflow. This mode is called as constant pressure mode and then the testing system is switched to constant flow mode and pressure is monitored until the difference in pressure between two measurements within 24 hours is less than uh, 10%. And the permeability coefficient is then calculated based on that law as shown here. And in this examination, um, IU, Blavino Slack, BFS, Emeta Kaolin, MK, at two precursor representative for um, high and low calcium system. So you have hydroxide 10 meter, 10 liter, uh, per 10 mol per liter, and sodium desilicate are you for activating these precursors, and um, five river sands also used. Uh, as an aggregate, and all of these components is made and cast in PVC tube with diameter of 97.5 millimeter and cured in 28 days to prepare for permeability testing. Three different water matter ratio for each type of precursor were uh, uh, examined as shown in the table here and slack water by the ratio here was chosen in the context of immobilization of radioactive liquid waste and which is not discussed in this study. And uh, after around two day water permeability testing for metacaline and around one week for blafonous slack, uh, we obtained the results um, as current MK and current uh, BFS here. And it can be seen that both MK and BFH um, and creative materials uh, have the water permeability, which depends much on uh, water by the ratio. The higher water by the ratio, the higher permeability coefficient. And the permeability of BFS is from 10 up minus 12 to approximate 10 up minus 14 meter per second, which is very close to that of OPC. Furthermore, a relatively high square R value of 0 0.65 for high calcium system, including BFS products and OPC also indicate the statement. That means the metric of alkali activity slab can be as dense as OBC at the same water by the ratio. Besides that, the results of metacaline also, um, also in agreement with the data on fly arch as low calcium system but a lower water by the range. And we can see that the current permeability of MK is much higher than BFS in this study. This probably mainly due to the high water by the ratio used for metacalculin in, in the examination, or probably due to the, the more porous of Nash gel in metacalculin geopolymer compared to cash gel in alkali activity slag. And as mentioned previously, pore structure play an 
play as a key role governing the water permeability of AAM. Here in the pore volume, pore distribution, specific survey area, and porosity obtained from nitrogen absorption that's a show. And this parameter here are mainly categorized for your pores within the range of uh, 3 to 70 um, nanometer and at a, at a larger pores, the porosity from water porosity test is also indicated in the in the table here. And it's clear that the higher water matter ratio results in an increase increase of pore volume in BFS. This consistent with the trend of permeability. So that means the higher pore volume, the higher water permeability. And this trend also is also applied with porosity, specific surface area, and pore distribution as it's shifted to the larger pore size range with the increase of water by the ratio. In contrast, it's observed that the metacarlin your pore 75 had a high risk pore volume while showing the lowest permeability. So it can be explained that the high water by the ratio resolution of metacarlin and activator uh, can be increased. And this results in a higher gel formation and which reduce the porosity at nanoscale, whereas the water porosity is still increased with water by the ratio. So that means while the permeability of alkali activity slag depends much on gel pore, the permeability of metacarlin is mostly controlled by, by capillary pore with higher pore size compared to uh, gel pore in alkali activated materials. So that, but to confirm this statement, we need to, to do further categorization at larger pores like mercury intrusion pore symmetry, MIP, and uh, SEM is necessary. So from the obtained results, um, some conclusion, some conclusion can be given as follows. First, the water by the ratio and precursor have a significant effect on the water permeability of both uh, BFS and MK. The higher water by the ratio results in larger pore and porosity, and then results in a higher permeability. Actually, activated material there's a similar permeability compared to OBC, while metacarlin show higher water permeability due to higher water by the ratio used in this study. And permeability of alkali activated materials is controlled by gel pore, while capillary pore controls the permeability of metacarlin. And finally, further categorization methods like MIP and SEM is really essential to confirm the relationship between water permeability and microstructure of AAM. This is my research on permeability of AAM. Thank you for your attention.